It begins here, by the Niobrara River in northeast Nebraska. 140 years ago, the Ponca tribe, driven from this homeland by soldiers with bayonets. And we walked. And we walked day after day. The main thing that they were up against is the unknown. Where are we going? Why are we going here? If you can imagine being sent someplace that far away and not knowing what's going to happen. I remember the stories my sister-in-law talked about of our children being picked up by their braids and flung into the backs of wagons. Now on a cold morning in April, members of the Ponca tribe have gathered to walk. From the Niobrara to the Kansas border, 12 days, 280 miles, following in the footsteps of their great-great-grandparents who were forced on all the way into Oklahoma. I know we can't walk in the steps like our ancestors did. They were very, very strong and, you know, we're so soft today. But for me, it's a spiritual journey. I think it's just wonderful that so many people have come together and that it's gonna go all on this journey with us. Aho, Ponca Moshe Wongi Day. It's good to have uh, all our Ponca people here together today. I uh, just looked at the clock, we're right on time. Glad to be here today, you know, to just, uh, just walk. You know, yes. that's all I'm here to do. Richard Lasley and his son Gabriel are direct descendants of a famous Ponca chief named Standing Bear. Forced into exile with his tribe, where a third of his people died, Standing Bear fought back. He walked from Oklahoma back to Nebraska, 500 miles in the middle of winter, to bury his son's bones near the Niobrara River. And then, went to court to prove he was a full human being with the right to live wherever he wanted. I am a man. The same God made us both. He defied those uh, orders when he was in Oklahoma to come back up here, not only to bury his son's bones, but the, but the blood of his people and the people before him ran in this ground. So there was a bond there, there was a draw there that brought him home. So if it's raining and it's cold, we're gonna walk. And just shy of a tornado or lightning, we're gonna walk. And, and so whoever can get out there, even if they take two steps, they're gonna honor our ancestors. That's their sacrifice that they can give. And, and we're gonna do that for our people. The Ponca Eagle staff will be passed along, person to person, every step of the way. They pass the site of the Ponca village, where their ancestors lived in earth lodges. It's in the air, it's in the clouds, it's in the land, it's in the land, where you can just feel the presence when you're walking, you just think about it and you feel them. They walk through the small towns of Nebraska, to Neely, where a baby girl died and was buried by townspeople who've taken care of her grave for 140 years. To Genoa, where the federal government established a boarding school to transform natives in the white man's image. And to a rest stop near Seward, where a monument to an unforgettable story is about to be unveiled. I had the privilege last night of dining with the, uh, with the tribe 
And this morning I had the privilege of walking with him for about six miles. Joaquin, will you come here? This little guy walked today all day long, and it's his birthday. Let's reveal the marker. It's just really a beautiful day. We can see the Creator gave us this gorgeous weather today. And now many people will stop and see this marker and it'll give them a moment to pause and to learn this story if they don't know this story and then to go out and learn their own stories. It was a far different day when the Ponca tribe came through here in 1877. On June 5th, Standing Bear's daughter, Prairie Flower, died of tuberculosis and was buried in Mount Pleasant Cemetery in Seward County. He gave everything, everything to leave Indian Territory and fulfill his son's wishes and come back here and he lost everything. We walk today and pass through here for a brief time and some of you, this is the first time you've been here. And, and, but I know it won't be the last. On day 12, 280 miles from where they started, the Ponca walkers and their friends arrive in Barniston, Nebraska at the Kansas border with so many stories to tell. I want you guys to know from start to finish, he was pumped. He carried that Oto flag all the way yesterday. You know, anytime he got tired, he just picked up and he ran. And to me, that was, that was a sign of a young warrior right there. And the heartbeat of the Ponca Nation goes on as Casey leads the women in a traditional scalp dance. She calls it a victory dance, a celebration of survival. We have endured. And with the help of our Mother of the Earth and all of the gifts that she continues to sustain us with, we will live. 